What's the difference between preaching and teaching? Now, I've seen quite a few articles that have been written about preaching versus teaching, and they kind of jump to conclusions without providing a lot of facts. I've also heard a pastor labeled as being a good teacher, but not a great preacher. On the other hand, I've even heard pastors called good teachers, but not necessarily good preachers. However, at the exact same time, today we will use the words teaching and preaching almost interchangeably when talking about what a pastor says on stage on a Sunday morning, right? So what do we mean by preaching and teaching? Is there even a difference and does it matter? The short answer is yes, it does matter. It matters a lot, actually. So please allow me to explain what I mean. This question often comes up because the Bible itself seems to imply that preaching and teaching are two different things. According to the Bible, preaching and teaching are partners in ministry, but also different. Now, if you read through the Bible casually, you may think that preaching and teaching are being used interchangeably but there are quite a few verses where preaching and teaching are both mentioned in the same verse. Matthew 11.1 1 says, when Jesus had finished instructing his 12 disciples, he went on from there to teach and preach in their cities. Now, preaching cannot mean the same thing here as teaching. Otherwise, this would be like saying Jesus went to preach and to preach, and that doesn't make a lot of sense there. So there must be a difference. What is it? And we see this again in Luke 20 verse 1, which says Jesus was teaching the people in the temple and preaching the gospel. We also read that the disciples following Jesus's example every day in the temple and from house to house, they did not cease teaching and preaching. In Antioch, Paul and Barnabas were teaching and preaching the word of the Lord with many others also. Being able to teach is even a requirement for being an elder, as we see in 1 Timothy 3.2. However, Paul makes a distinction that elders who labor in preaching and teaching are worthy of double honor. So Paul seems to be implying that all elders teach, but not all elders preach. There's a difference there somewhere. Later, Paul also instructs Timothy to preach the word with complete patience and teaching. Now, all this goes to show that the words preaching and teaching in the Bible are not just used interchangeably. Like today, we might say either I was speaking, I was preaching, I was teaching, or I was delivering the message. And we might mean the exact same thing by those statements. So what is the difference then between preaching and teaching in the Bible? And before we get into the answer to that question, I want to address some of the misconceptions that I see out there. A lot of these things are things that I've thought before and even told people before I really studied the differences here. It's easy to get this mixed up. The first misconception is that preaching and teaching mean the same thing. Now, as we already showed, although some people think that preaching and teaching are used synonymously in the Bible, that cannot be true based on how they are used throughout scripture. I won't touch on that anymore because we just talked about that. Now, the second misconception I see is that preaching speaks to the heart and teaching speaks to the mind. Now that sounds really good, except, can anyone really show me where that is in the Bible? I mean, preaching may touch the heart and the emotions, but teaching can do that too. And not all teaching is dry and boring. The third misconception is that preaching is about application and teaching is about information. And again, this sounds good, but I don't see that anywhere in the Bible. After all, if you think about it, anyone who teaches but doesn't apply what's being taught or help people apply what they are teaching is not a very good teacher. Just imagine if a math teacher just told students to memorize that two plus two equals four, but never really taught students why that is or how to do it. Just memorize two plus two equals four. That would be a pretty bad math teacher, wouldn't it? You need to apply what you're teaching. So if these common misconceptions aren't true, then what is the difference? Now, the answer lies in the original language of these words in the Bible. Now, did you know that technically the words preaching or preach, those aren't in the Bible? 
Now, before you try to stone me to death for saying that, okay, let me explain what I mean. In the original Greek that the New Testament was written in, the Bible uses one root word that we translate to the English word teach. And I might butcher my sayings in Greek here, but that word is didasko. But there are two root words that we often translate as preach, and that is keriso and euangelizo. Now, didasko means to teach or instruct. So translating forms of the word didasko as teach, teacher, teaching, that's accurate, and that's exactly what it means. But things get a little more complicated with translations for forms of the word preach since there are two different Greek words for that. Now, the first word, keriso, means to announce, proclaim, or make known. And the second word, euangelizo, which actually has a similar construction as the Greek word for evangelism, euangelion, means to proclaim good news or announce good news or proclaim the gospel. So keriso and euangelizo both have similar meanings. One means to announce and the other means to announce good news. So what does this tell us? In the New Testament, when the original authors wrote about teaching, they meant what we mean when we say teaching, instructing or educating people. However, when they wrote about preaching, they didn't necessarily mean what we mean in English today when we say the word preach. They meant making an announcement or announcing the gospel. Now this is the difference between preaching and teaching in the Bible. Preaching is proclamation. Teaching is education. Preaching is announcing and teaching is instructing. Preaching is making a declaration and teaching is making a disciple. Preaching is more along the lines of standing on a street corner and making an announcement, just shouting it out like a herald for all the people to hear what you're saying. And teaching is providing more detailed instructions and answers. When we say preaching today, what we really mean is a combination of didasco, keriso, and euangelizo. Preaching is both announcing the good news of the gospel and teaching what it means. Jesus didn't just teach. He announced good news. But he didn't just announce good news. He also taught. Do you see the difference? Perhaps the best way to think about this is just imagine that a representative of your bank calls you up on the phone and proclaims, hey, good news, the bank has decided to cancel all of your debt. Awesome, right? Now you'd be stunned, but this news sounds too good to be true. So you would probably have a few follow-up questions. Is this true? Why would the bank cancel all of my debt? What's in that for them? When will this take effect? What do I need to do to make sure that I get my debt canceled? And as you ask these follow-up questions, the representative on the phone then begins to teach you about the details surrounding this good news, giving reassurance that they are telling the truth, and maybe they walk you through some of the steps that you must take if you would like to receive this great news. Now, this is the difference between preaching and teaching in the Bible. There is an initial declaration of good news, that's preaching, and then a follow-up of education, that's the teaching part. Now imagine if the bank representative called you and he said, hey, good news, your debts are canceled. And then just click, hung up. Do, do people even hang up like that anymore? Hang up. <laughs> now that would be really, really confusing, right? You would be stuck with, with just a lot of questions. You'd be like, what in the world just happened there? And that's what happens when you proclaim without teaching. Now imagine if the bank representative called up instead and he says, Hello there, here's what I need you to do. And then he just rattled off a whole list of things that they wanted you to do and rules that they wanted you to follow. Again, that would be really, really confusing, right? I mean, why would you wanna follow these random instructions from somebody who just called you up out of the blue and started telling you what to do? But that is what teaching without proclaiming is. You're giving the rules, the instructions, the information without the good news. So what we mean most often when we say the word preaching today is actually a combination of proclaiming and teaching. We announce and educate. And great preaching requires both. You announce the good news, you proclaim the gospel, you decree warnings of the consequences of living for yourself and following the ways of the world, and then you instruct and you educate people about what the Bible says, why it says what it says, and then you address some of the common questions and objections that people might have. 
In the Bible, preaching and teaching are two very different things with a symbiotic relationship. But here's the bottom line today, what I hope you get from this. If you want to preach, proclaim and teach. If you want to preach, proclaim and teach. See, preaching is proclamation and instruction. It's exhortation and education. It's declaration and discipleship. Preaching is speaking God's word and also clarifying what the words that God spoke mean. If you want to preach well, like Jesus did, then you got to do both. And when we study the Bible and the difference between these words, I believe that that is what God wants us to see. If you just proclaim, you aren't serving your audience well. They're going to have questions and you need to give them answers. And if you just teach, you aren't serving your audience well because you're digging in the details without first telling them the good news, the big picture idea. And that's the difference between preaching and teaching in the Bible. Preaching is proclamation, teaching is education. And if you want to preach, proclaim and teach. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.